Mike, Mark Selby in this uh, terrific China Open final. And Mark Williams, first things first, will be looking to force a decider. He looks relaxed. He always does, though, doesn't he, Mark? He's having a chat with Jan Verhaas, the referee. Covering his microphone in case anything <laughs> he said that we shouldn't hear. <laughs> a lot of people, well, most people in the game, want to see Mark at the crucible, even if he has to qualify. And certainly, he wouldn't want to draw him first round if you're a seed. He could draw Selby first day, possibly, if he has to qualify. He could renew this rivalry. Thank anyway, that's all to come. Right now, it's frame 18. Mark Selby to break. So pressure on that man in the picture, Mark Williams, as Mark Selby breaks off, needing one more frame for victory. 9-8. And just because you think a match deserves a decider doesn't mean it'll get one. It's all down to the Welshman. Could be a re rack. Oh, what about that for a shot? But it seems to spring off the cushion, the cue ball. Yeah, just wiping the cushion because that was a great pot and could very well have had an angle on the black to open the reds up. Now it's going to be difficult to hold the cue ball for that red above the black. Well, you won't see many better shots than that. Eight. That red to the middle. And by the way, that black wasn't easy. Well, this must be so tight, even playing it with right hand side on the cue ball to try and help it in the pocket. Nope, doesn't fancy it. Last minute change of heart there. <laughs> Touching. I 
Well, he's left a safety shot this time for Mark Williams. I'll try and put the cue ball dead on the cushion behind the yellow. Don't forget the rest. Thank you. Caught it too thick and needs a bit of luck. And he's got it. The black has come to save him. Marks out before. Oh, had it kissed the brown, would have left the red on. As it is, may have the cue ball replaced. Just about at the edge with the reds behind the pink. That's the screen there that uh, they're referring to with the little circles on, which make it a lot easier for everyone to uh, see that it's back right or not right. No, it was like that. Well, Mark we know what's coming next, a warning. <laughs> Back again, please. And of course, uh, if he loses the frame, the match is over. So I've got to hit a red. I'll start with the cue ball. Well, he certainly can't afford to play that shot again. Ryan Day sat at home shouting, play it again. <laughs> <laughs> He knows what's coming here, the warning from Jan Verhaas. He's got to hit a red this time. Thanks. I think we're good, Peggy. You know we've got a warning mark here. If you play the miss again, you lose the frame. <laughs> He's hoping he does. Where's it going to finish?
Delighted. <laughs> Rather ironic apology there to Mark Selby. Good to see, though, even at such a vital stage, the players can just take a bit of tension out by just having a little joke. <laughs> yeah, I'm really sorry, Mark, please for that. Down, please. I didn't leave you a red on. Well, that full ball kiss on black has left the cue ball down this end of the table. There's nothing there for Mark Selby. He's queuing up as though he's going to go for that red, but playing this red, trying to get the cue ball in behind the black. Caught it a little bit too thick. But he's okay. Local time. Five past eleven in the evening. It's been such a battle. And continues to be.
very good safety. Problem with the red is hitting the yellow, but it didn't. Barry Hearn there, totally engrossed. Well, that could be the defining moment of this match. What a brave shot to take on from Mark Williams. Now, if Mark Selby could get the black back on its spot. It would be beneficial, but doesn't need to. Blue and pink available. Looks like he may be able to get through to the black. The red in the bulk area. It's available if he can pot the black. Didn't look as though he could get to the black. A little heavy for the blue. Straight on the blue. But has a red to the left of the pink. So it doesn't have to take the more difficult pink. Twelve. It's still a big if, but if he does win the frame of match here, then for me the, the key moment was that 16th frame. He'd lost the previous one, and we had a good chance to clear. Mark Williams looked like he won a pivotal frame there to lead 8-7. Selby made a 70 break, knocking in all sorts of great balls, particularly colours. He knocked in a great green. 
and just showed terrific bottle and also the capacity to bounce back from disappointment. Oh, that does him a favour. Pink going on to the black spot. And this is a really good chance now. If you can get to the pink here. 19. Just a little slow 25. with that positional shot. The loped bridge. Yep. Twenty six. Mark Selby's twentieth world ranking final. Looking to win his eleventh title, but fourth this season. No one's ever won the China Open and the World Championship back to back, but if anyone is going to do it, it's this man. We know, of course, he's seeded number one at the Crucible. Right in the middle of that cluster, it goes to the right corner. Well, he's not ready to throw that towel in, but he's just waiting to see if he's going to get another chance. He couldn't have given it any more than he has, though, Mark Williams. Absolutely not. Well, judging by the body language, he may not be on a red. So it's looking like Mark Williams will be coming back to the table. Difficult plant there. A great plant maker, this man. But this is tough. Played that cue ball into a good spot in case he missed it. So Mark Selby returns to his corner, leading by 41. Mark Williams delighted just to be back at the table.
Oh, well, what about that? What a great pop. But that cue ball has just run on too far for the black. And the green's tough. But the way he's approaching this match, I've no doubt whatsoever he's going to take the green on. He's got some insurance with a couple of red safe, yellow safe. Another great shot. And he's on a red to the middle. Four. 45 points in front. Another chance for Selby then to get this final one. just has this inner steel, Mark Selby. Never knows when he's beaten and when he does suffer a blow as he did in that 15th frame, just seems to come back stronger from it. So 58 points in front, he needs red colour. Mark Williams is going to need snookers. Having given it his all here this week and in this final, Williams, to get to the crucible as of right. If Selby <laughs> pops this pink, then Williams, barring snookers, is going to have to win three qualifying matches to get to the event showpiece. This is match ball. Oh. And he's missed it. Can you believe wow. it? Can you believe it? So, 59 in it, 59 on. Not over yet. Well, did he... <laughs> I'm trying to think how he missed that. Did he play Quiet, just please. a little quick because it was too easy? You can't believe it. All those pressure balls that he's potted, I don't believe that was pressure for one minute. But it's a chance now for Mark Williams. A slender one. Like to get the black back on its spot. Eight. Well, that's unfortunate, but he's got the black back on its spot and he's still in with the chance. Mark Williams, eight.
trying to play in behind the red, send the red down the table. And settle for that. Put himself under it a bit, Selby, hasn't he? If he'd have just potted that pink, it was basically over. At the moment, Williams could tie this frame with blacks, force a respot. Yes, his problem is if he plays thin off the red, he could send it over that left corner pocket. Cue ball could hit the red or pink on its way back down the table. He's also considered trying to hit the red behind, send the red down the table. Thirty-two minutes for this frame. We've had uh, one much longer than that, though. That's a uh, fifteenth that Williams eventually won. Touching ball. Well, he'd like to have played a colour onto the cushion, but he can't see a colour. So the next best thing is to try and get the cue ball on the cushion so he can't see that red down the other end of the table. Using the brown to cover the red.
Here's a long way off that one. And Mark Selby is going to get another chance here at this long red. It goes in. And can afford to go for it with the two reds reasonably safe. And in it goes. And that's going to take him to the championship. Yeah, great all round performance from Selby. Three centuries, some great safety. Mark Williams has played brilliant snooker as well, but Four. there's just something about Selby. You just cannot put him away, it seems, when he's in this sort of mood. Five. He's going to be defending the world title two weeks from now, and he goes there full of confidence. Yeah, he goes there knowing that he's stood up under pressure, and he's playing yeah. well, and he's had to. Well, well, good luck to Mark Williams in the qualifying. It would be great to see him at the Crucible. Great champion of this game. Nineteen. Nineteen. So, the master of brinkmanship has done it again. Another title for Mark Selby after an epic battle with Mark Williams here in Beijing. They both gave it absolutely everything, but in the end, it's the world number one, the world champion, Mark Selby, who prevails by 10 frames to eight. He takes away the £85,000 first prize and the trophy, and it's world ranking title number 11. Mark Williams knows he's got to qualify for the Crucible. He'll take that in his stride, I'm sure, but the champion here in Beijing is Mark Selby.